All right, here we go. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Uh, this next section is actually out of Chapter 11. And as you see the title on there, it says 9.4. Well, 9.4 in your textbook, something about coordinate geometry. So I'm just changing this around. You'll see the homework assignment tonight is actually out of Chapter 11. If I was writing the textbook, I would move it because it really is about finding perimeter and area. And really, in terms of topic, goes better with Chapter 9. Chapter 11 is all about circles, so you're going to see a lot of stuff about circles on here. But this really, in terms of context, goes with what we're doing right now um, in Chapter 9. Just another shape we're finding area of, and another shape we're finding perimeter or length. So you'll see these three problems. I'm going to give you a second on your paper to sketch um, a couple of radius or radii for each one of these. And you'll notice, I, just to be consistent and simple, I chose a radius of 10 for all three of these circles. So you're basically cutting up pieces of pie. So you get, you know, a piece of pie here with a radius of 10 and a radius of 10, the exact same thing here, and the exact same thing here. Um, and we're going to be basically looking at three different types of problems. One is finding length, finding this blue distance, finding a curved length, which you've never done before other than a circumference. Uh, finding a, an area of this little piece of pie and finding a sort of a little sliver of a circle here, which is kind of, we'll talk about, they call that a segment of a circle. So this is called a sector. This is called arc length. It's a curved length. And this is called the segment of a circle, which I always think of as like a little sliver on there. Basically, and I think it's on your paper somewhere, um, it has a question about what you're actually finding on here. I'm trying to slide this down so you can see it a little better. We're finding fractions. Our objective is to find fractions of circumference, which is what this little blue thing is. It's a fraction of the entire circle, and fractions of area, which is what this orange section or yeah, orange section is on your screen there. We're trying to find fractions of the circle. You'll need a little more information. No, we don't want to do that. Sorry about that. Uh, we got Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man later on in this thing. A couple problems coming up later. Uh, we'll get to those momentarily. Um, so I've added a little more information. This angle is a 36 degree angle. This angle is a 40 degree angle. And the angle over here is a 90 degree angle. And you know, you'll see I've put them in different locations. I can call this angle at the middle here 40 degrees, or I can say this arc is 40 degrees. And we haven't really dealt with degrees having to do with curvature. But it's also a degree of curvature. You know, it's a degree of how much you turn, or it's also a degree of curvature. So you'll see it over here actually put on the curved part of the circle. <clears throat> now down here I mentioned it's a fraction of a circle. You know, 90 is a fraction of a circle. And this is probably the obvious one. What, think of what fraction of the circle is this 90 degree arc. And hopefully you're thinking of a fourth. And of course that fourth, one fourth comes from 90 being a quarter of the entire circle, being a quarter or a fourth of 360. This one's a little tougher to see. 40 degrees is some fraction of the entire 360. And the same thing over here, 36 is some fraction of the entire 360 here. Now, of course, if you do the math, you'll realize that 36 is one tenth of the entire 360. Another way of saying that is this distance is one tenth of the entire distance around the circle. And at, at from yesterday, we, or from sorry, from Monday, we kind of mentioned the entire distance around a circle is circumference. So I'd have to ask you, how do you find circumference? And then all of a sudden, two pi r comes in your head. So this is the circumference around the entire circle, two pi r. This is only one tenth of that circle because it's 36 over 360. It's literally three, 36 divided by 360 is 0.1, and you'd multiply that 1 tenth times 2 pi r. Now, this one happens to cancel out because the radius happens to be 10. So uh, I'm actually diving right into three example problems before I give you any formulas. Um, you'll see I threw a Greek letter up here. This is the Greek letter lambda. It's basically an upside down y. You might say, why did I use that? Well, I'm, I'm running out of letters here. I've used L for length. This is a curved length, so I want to use a different letter. You can pick any letter of the alphabet you want. You can call this X if you want. I think your book uses X maybe for this. Um, some books don't even give it a variable. I'm using lambda here to represent that curved length or arc length on there. So if you were to do these calculations, you know, you get one tenth here, you multiply by two, multiply by pi, multiply by r, you end up with this curved length on here, which is like two pi or 6.1, I think 6.28 
for this length. Same thing over here, but you'll notice I'm not using 2 pi r on this one. Pi r squared, of course, you remember, finds area. This little section is some fraction of the entire circle. It's some fraction of 2 pi r. So you're going to have to think of what, what is 40? What percent of 360 is 40? Or what fraction of 360 is 40? Well, 40 divided by 360 is 1 ninth. If you reduce that fraction, it's 1 ninth. So this little orange section is 1 ninth of the entire thing. Just like if you look and think about a pizza, maybe on my pizza picture here, this piece of pizza is one sixth of the pizza. Well, that piece of pizza is one ninth of it. This one here was one tenth of it. So like the crust of the pizza is one tenth of the entire thing. The pizza I'm eating over here is, is one ninth of this entire space in there. Again, and you'd figure out whatever the fraction is, you'd multiply it by pi r squared. Of course, r in this case is 10. And again, I'm using a different letter for that one. I could use little a, but little a is apothem. I'm using alpha. This is a Greek letter alpha to represent, and it's kind of like a cursive a, um, to represent the area or space of a sector. So I'll give you a couple answers just so you can kind of get an idea of it. If you were to do the calculations here, I said it would be 6.28. This one, alpha, this little space would be 34.91. The entire thing, the entire circle would have been pi times 100, which would have been you know 314. You can see this is at some fraction of 314. One ninth of 314 is 34.91. So the, one of the only things people have trouble with in this section is they they, they struggle with the order of operations. Um, you can do your division, get a decimal, and then multiply it by that decimal, and that's the simplest way to do it. Um, if you're good at canceling and simplifying fractions, you can do it that way. You know, I'm not going to tell you which method you have to use on there. All right, the last one I want to talk about is this little piece here, which is almost like the previous problem. We're going to talk about the segment, how to find that area, that red area on there. You'll notice I've got a little triangle here, which happens to be a right triangle, because this angle is 90 because that angle is 90. And of course, if this is 10, the radius is also 10 here, just like it was on all the other ones, 10 and 10, 10 and 10. If you're trying to find just this little piece, essentially you're finding the entire thing, this entire piece of pie like we did here, and then you're subtracting the triangle portion of it out of there. So this one I'm going to use, it's not a formula, but it's sort of just a method here, to find the area of a segment, of a little sliver like that. You find the area of the sector, of this entire thing as if it was shaded in, and you subtract out whatever the triangle is. That's not a formula, it's just sort of a concept of what we did on Monday, composite areas and the area addition postulate. And just in this case, we're doing subtraction on here. So if I said find the area of that triangle, hopefully you're thinking 1 half base times height. So 10 times 10 divided by 2, which would be 50. And in terms of finding this, this uh, sector, it's the same thing we did here. This is a fourth of the circle. If I think of this whole thing as being a fourth of the circle, the area of the entire circle would be pi r squared. So you're taking a fourth of pi r squared. And you, you'll see on this one, I've already simplified my fraction. Here, I didn't simplify it. I simplified it because it was so simple, 90 divided by 360. And then I would do the triangle, which was 10 times 10 divided by 2. I think you should end up with 28.54 square units. So these are the two most important ones. Uh, this one, not quite as important, but it's a concept you should get. I think you'll see one like this on the final. Um, you'll see ones like this on the homework and on the quiz. Uh, this is not, you know, this is sort of a higher level problem. You should be able to do it, but don't, don't focus on that one right now. Get really good at these two, and then work on that one.